One of the things I'm really proud of in being Autumn is knowing that who we are is an ultimate truth, especially here in these lands. We were here before America was America and Mexico was Mexico. And I think that's a really powerful place to stand. We share 75 miles of international border with the United States and Mexico. The Autumn weren't consulted when the line was drawn and that divided our lands in half. And so we have half of our lands here in the U.S. and also in Mexico. The line was drawn, but for Autumn, we don't really recognize it. Once you step over the line, it's not like you're in another place. We're still at home. So we're in Newfields, AKA Wichita, this is where my dad's family comes from. So my family's background is ranching. So I grew up driving these roads, which is with my grandpa cruising in the back of his pickup truck. So I was never scared to be on these roads. I was never scared to cross the border. Crossing the border was normal. At the time, it was just a barbed wire fence and a cattle guard. Being occupied with Border Patrol presence, it definitely changes the way that people move and the way that people feel. Today, the traditional crossings that we've been able to use, we can't use anymore. They've been locked. Faith is a really important thing to us. It's not just faith in the church, but it's, it's a faith in the higher power and creator and something bigger than ourselves. And it's also like faith in the land. We cross the border for familial reasons, but also for traditional ceremonies. For this time of year in October, a lot of people cross the border for the um, Feast of St. Francis. They do it by actually walking, making a pilgrimage from the U.S. side to Magdalena in Mexico. been coming since I was very young. Can't even recall the first time I've ever been here. Everybody has their own purpose and everybody comes here either in their own pilgrimage or by vehicle. It's different for everyone. When you see the people walking in the, in the streets here, especially if you know that they made their pilgrimage, you'll see that people will shake their hand. It's a custom that you shake their hands out of respect for that journey or you hug them. You show them some kind of love and support for making that journey and being here. It's one of the ways that we assert our, our right to move freely on the land is to come to things like this. And definitely this time is one of the biggest celebrations out of the year. You know, there's autumn all over town. My purpose, just counting my blessings and being thankful. When I was younger, I didn't think anything of it. I just come in just for like the toys and all that and the carnival. As I got older, figuring out the purpose of things, why we do it. It's like walking for other people. 
So I come for them and offer my prayers to the saint. I've been coming to Molina since I was young, since I was a kid. Uh, I've been walking on this journey since I was 12. I'm 27 now. But we do come here for a reason. I come here for my father, my mom, my grandpa, everybody else that passed on, you know. We come here to, you know, pay your respects to St. Francis. How he, you know, helped us build these churches and, you know, helped us, you know, find ourselves through that. But yeah, this is the place where all my families and friends like come and reunite as one and we are just like a big old family reunion, all of, all of our people. Us as often being here, we're more respected here. Even though we don't speak Spanish, there's always someone there that knows how to speak English. When we walk in, you know, people help us out. People give us uh, juice, people help us with food, people help us with like bandages. And uh, yeah, it's, I hope in the future uh, a lot more Optums come back to, you know, Marina because this is where we always been. If there's one elder that I can name that has really instilled in me this sense of, of why it's important for Autumn to keep crossing the border no matter what is the late Felix Anton. He was a traditional man, a man of faith. He took us to this area. It's a sacred site. It's a site where a lot of like prayers and songs and ceremonies have happened for hundreds if not thousands of years. He talked about how that experience of, of crossing the border for ceremonial purposes, that it's like school. If we stop our migration or our movement across the border, it's gonna be easier for the forces, the state, Mexico, US government to take, take our lands away and basically to say you don't have no use for this or you're not using it. A lot of times Autumn don't think about things politically, there's a few that do. It's more about the heart, it's more about family, it's about faith, and I think that's like the key thing, you know, because the, po the politics are going to happen like regardless. But I think when we come here to Marina, it reminds us of how to keep like our good heart, enjoying this time together, having fun, celebrating with food and family, and just feeling good about who we are. and and the lands that we call home in the U.S. and in Mexico. My name is Anna Anton. I was born in Pozo Verde, which is on the Mexican Sonora side of, of the boundary. That's always home to us. It's always our anchor. That's where we start out on our, our journey to here every year. Everything we need, we carry. The sacrifice part is traditional. That's what all them have done all, all the time. Then now it's mixed in with the, with the religion, the Catholic religion. They're so similar. They, they, they get a staff from my, my brother. He started that they bring their saints or whatever they want to bring, whatever means so much to them that that they want to, you know, carry it with them and sacrifice for that. First thing we do is go and pay our respects to St. Francis. And then in the past, maybe three or four years, the priests have been wanting to do mass for us here. We attend the Mass and then following that we have a little ceremony where we tie those ribbons on. Now that each, each one of them has a meaning for the individual. The red stands for courage and it represents the blood that runs through our veins. Every nationality has the same color of blood. So in in that way, we have to respect all nationalities. This walk is open to anyone. It's not ours, it's, it belongs to the people. I guess what we try to enforce too is that that boundary doesn't divide us. It's all our land and we're all taking care of it by doing this journey with the prayers that they carry. One of the really beautiful things about Autumn 
is we've never been forcibly relocated. It's really cool to have this strong sense of identity because when we're telling our stories and we're singing our songs, we're actually like physically able to see these places and be able to be there and visit them and have that connection to the land. For the most part, we're pretty lucky that we've been left alone out here. Right now, we are facing the threat of the actual physical border wall, but also the integrated fixed towers. For me, this checkpoint was the catalyst for me speaking up about border issues because there was a grandma from the village of San Pedro, which is not too far from here, who was cut and pulled out of her seatbelt. And that was the first time that I felt like this rage and hurt and I knew that we needed to do something. We become afraid when we see too much changing so fast. And what does that mean for us? What does that mean for our future generations and our kids and our grandkids who won't remember what it was like before all of this? The sense of freedom that we have is all of them. And so I just don't want us to ever lose that sense of place and our, our right to be here.